Okay, so welcome guys. Um, here's the grammar that I have prepared. It's uh, not the easiest or the hardest really. Um, so it should should be pretty good as far as uh, getting the concept across. Now I just want to make uh, sure that you understand that at is actually representing empty. So let's go ahead and just draw that in right there real quick. Okay. And let me just get rid of that. So, um, usually how I start first is I find the easiest easiest states. So, um, what, what does easiest states mean? Well, the ones that contain terminals immediately and don't actually involve other states are usually the easiest. So, if we start with T, we go G and we got M and we're done with that. Then uh, S only has terminal D so D and S oh, what am I doing? Sorry phone went off, throwing me off completely here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so it has terminal D or empty. Mm, don't like how that came out either. Okay. And that's about it for that. So I claim we're done with S. Then we got L, but we're going to go ahead and skip L and do K first, just because it seems a little easier. So, let me see. It has B or empty. And I claim that one is complete too. Now let's go ahead and jump to L. L has everything that S has, so which is D. Now, since S contains an empty, uh, L will also have A. So this S goes away because S contains this empty over here. So we put A down as well. Then, that's a terminal, so we can't touch this K. Over here, we have Q, which is a terminal. Oops. Q, that is not a good Q. So let me... Oh boy, what is going on? <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Alright, so, Q. And the, then we have this S. So, it contains everything that S contains. Alright, which includes an empty, but we already did that. However, this time the empty affects it because we have to have everything that K contains as well. Um, K contains B and empty. So, since there's no other terminal after the empty, the empty gets included. Now let's move to H, and H has everything that K has, which is B and empty so therefore we go to L so H has everything L has which is D A Q we have B again but since this is technically a list um, it wouldn't be wrong to put another B down but it would be redundant and unnecessary so since we have B here, we're not going to repeat the B. And then empty, and because it contains empty as well, and there's something that follows it, we have to include the P as well. So we have the P, and then over here we have the terminal G. And that should be it. Let's check one more time. We got B, D, A, Q, P, and G. So 
I claim we're done with our firsts. So let's get started on our follows. So here's a rule that I like to um, make sure I cover every time I teach first and follows. Um, this is I, I've I've come across different variations of this um, of this rule where students will do like loop arounds and um, all this other all these sort of confusing things, if you will. I find that it's easiest to just memorize S goes to A B and then the first rule being the first of B goes into the follow of A and that the second rule is the fir follow of S goes into the follow of B. Um, sometimes depending on uh, what kind of professor you have you may be allowed to have like a little uh, cheat sheet or something. Um, I recommend writing this down if you're not comfortable with first and follows. However, um, if you practice enough and just commit these rules to memory it should be second nature now the only time there's an exception to this is if there is a empty contained in say um, A for example when you're going from the first of B into the follow of A and say we have another A prime over here um, then the first of B would also go into the follow of A prime so let's get started with that and here we have it the follow set I'm gonna actually erase this because it looks like it's going over a little bit alright that's a little better okay and here we go um, whenever we start follows it's very important that we put a dollar sign right there um, if you don't understand why that is, uh, it's usually used as an indicator in compilers that you have come to the end of end of the input sequence. So I may go over that in a future video, but anyways, let's get back to this. Um, so the dollar sign right there. Now we're going to go ahead and follow the rules. So let's go and put P. P and L. L contains an empty. So we put P and K. OK. Um, then we put the first of L into the follow of K, first of L, follow of K. I would really wish that would stop happening, sorry about that. A B. And you never put the empty sign into follows because the empty denotes nothing, so a nothing can't follow anything. So let's see, we did that. Then over here, K, the first of K into the follow of S, the first of K into the follow of S, which is just B. K, then we go the first of T into the follow of S, first of T into the follow of S. So first of C is GM, GM. Then let's see, does S contain an empty? It sure does. So S goes away, so the first of T goes into the follow of L as well. First of T, follow of L is GM. Okay, so that got passed across. Now the first of S into the follow of L, first of S, follow of L. So D gets added. And we're done with that one. Now we come over here. We go the A goes into the follow of S. A goes into the follow of S. So we put A down right there. 
Mm, that's an ugly A. Let's try to make that neater. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave that alone. Okay, so we have that. Then the first of K instead of follow of S. First of K is B instead of follow of S. Well, it, the B is already there, so again, because it's a list, there's no need to do that. Um, let's see here, these are both terminals, so there's really nothing for us to do here. Since there's a terminal in between these two, the K doesn't go, or I mean the first of K doesn't go into the follow of S, so we just skip that. Then here, F goes into H, F goes into H, uh, that's, you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll just leave it, um, it's a hideous F, you know what, one second, guys, F, okay, there we go, <laughs> anyways, um, and since this is a terminal, there's really nothing left for us to do. And just glance over the first rule real quick over the grammar. I believe we did the first rule fully through on that. So now uh, we have to do the second rule of follows, which is um, H, or rather S goes into the follow of S into the follow of B, which in this case is H or the follow of H into the follow of K. So the follow of H into the follow of K, which means add dollar sign. Wow, if I could get this right, that would be great. So you guys are just gonna have to understand that this is the dollar sign. <laughs> and we have to add the F as well. All right, and then that was follow of H, follow of K into the follow of K, and does K go away? K does have an empty in it. So then the follow of H goes into the follow of S. So follow of H into the follow of S, that means we have to add a dollar sign over here and an F. Okay. It was for this reason that I went back and kind of just uh, typed those in <laughs> for you, but anyways, um, I'm, I'm gonna do that at the end of um, completing the follow set as well, just for clarity. Alright, so we're right here, um, then this is a terminal, so even if S, which it does contain an empty, um, there is no effect here because you, you can't the follow of H into a, a terminal. Anyways, so then the rule goes, would go here, but since there's a terminal, you're done. So we're done with H for the second rule. Then we go the follow of K into the follow of T. So follow of K into the follow of T. So we copy over this long piece of, and there we go. Then we check, um, does T go away? So does T contain an empty? T does not contain an empty, so we are done there. Then we go L, the follow of L into the follow of K. So follow of L into the follow of K. We got P, G, so GM, and D is already there, P is already there, so GM is the only thing we're adding here. So G and M gets added. Okay, and that was the follow of L into the follow of K. Now does K go away? K does go away, so the follow of L into the follow of S follow of K into the follow of S. I'm sorry, that's the follow of L into the follow of S. And it appears that we have most of those. So we have the G, we have the M. 
We don't, however, have the P or the D, so we have to go ahead and put the P and, oops, did not mean to do that, and the D in there. Okay, so we got that all squared away. Let me adjust the screen back. Ugh. All kinds of technical difficulties going on. So, we went ahead and did that as well. So that was the follow of L into the follow of S. Because the K went away, just to refresh everyone's memory. Okay, and then we have the follow of L into the follow of K again. So follow of L, follow of K, well, that's a bit redundant. And then there's a terminal, so we don't have to do anything. And then again, there's nothing to do here and nothing to do here. Now, when you do this rule, you have to go through it at least. You have to reiterate until nothing changes. So we go back from the top. H goes into K. So H, K, S, F, or S, dollar sign F, pardon me. Um, then does that go away? It sure it does. There's the empty. So then H into S, H into S, it's right there, perfect. Then terminal, we're done there. So then K, or the follow of K rather, into the follow of T, the follow of K, into the follow of T. Do we have anything we didn't have before? Yeah, we sure do. So we have to do the G and the M as well. Then that was follow of K and follow T. T, T does not go away, so we're done there. Then the follow of L into the follow of K, follow of L into the follow of K. It's still the same thing. We have um, all of the terminals that we have in L and K. So there's nothing to be done there. K goes away, so the follow of L into the follow of S. And it appears that we're good there. And then follow of L into the follow of K, which is redundant. We already have that. Nothing to do, nothing to do, and I claim that we are done with our follow sets. So there you have it. That's how you find your first and follows. And I'm going to go ahead and write this over in, uh, type it out just in case you're not able to understand my uh, gibberish here. So thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful and informative. And thank you very much.